Mastering modal verbs, the art of saying, no, and asking. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to another insightful lesson on mastering the English language. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of modal verbs, with a special focus on permission, and more specifically, their negative forms and questions. These grammatical elements can be tricky but are crucial in day-to-day -day conversation. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's clarify what we mean by modal verbs for permission. These are verbs that express whether an action is allowed or permitted. Examples of such verbs include can, could, may, and in their negative forms, can't, couldn't, and may not. We use these verbs to either ask for permission, give permission or refuse permission. For instance, consider these sentences. Can I use your pen? You may not enter the room. Now that we understand the basics, let's dive deeper into the negative forms of these modal verbs. Using negative forms is simple but essential in making clear and polite refusals. The negative form is used by adding the word not after the modal verb. For example, you can't park here. The contraction NT is commonly used in spoken English. Similarly, asking questions with modal verbs is equally important. By adjusting the order of the subject and verb, we can form questions. For instance, may I borrow your book? Or, could I take a day off? Remember, these question forms are often more polite than their declarative counterparts. The best way to cement your understanding of these modal verbs is through practice. Let's consider a dialogue. A. Can I use your car tonight? B. I'm sorry, but you can't. It's being repaired. Or consider this conversation. A. Could I borrow your notes for the meeting? B. Sorry, you may not. They're confidential. By practicing these dialogues, we're using modal verbs to both ask for and deny permission. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. That brings us to the end of our lesson on modal verbs for permission, specifically their negative forms and questions. Remember, understanding and using these modal verbs accurately can significantly enhance your English communication skills. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to rewind and review any parts of this video. See you next time with more exciting grammar topics. Happy learning!